Have you ever pondered which poses a greater challenge to mankind? A world bursting at its seams, or a world barely populated? It's a question of extremes, isn't it? Let's delve into this conundrum. First off, overpopulation. Picture a world where the number of people significantly outweighs the resources available. It's like having 10 people and only one apple pie. There's just not enough to go around, is there? This imbalance can lead to a host of problems from resource depletion to environmental degradation. On the flip side, we have underpopulation. Imagine a world where there are so few people that maintaining an economic system becomes a challenge. It's like having a grand orchestra with only a handful of musicians. The symphony simply wouldn't be as grand, would it? Both scenarios present their unique difficulties, but which is the more threatening predicament? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this world of extremes. To unravel this dilemma, we need to delve into some facts and figures. Let's start with overpopulation. Countries like China and India, with their teeming multitudes, are classic examples of this phenomenon. These nations grapple with a myriad of challenges due to their large population. Pollution, for instance, is a significant concern, with the air in many cities thick with smog. Poverty is another issue, with millions living below the poverty line despite rapid economic growth. And let's not forget about resource scarcity. With their vast populations, these countries face intense pressure on their water, food and energy resources. On the other end of the spectrum, we have underpopulation. Countries like Canada and Australia have vast tracts of land, but few people to inhabit them. This leads to its own set of challenges. Labour shortages, for one, as there simply aren't enough people to fill all the jobs. This can lead to a slowdown in economic growth. There's also the issue of an ageing population. With fewer young people to support the elderly, these nations face significant health care and social security challenges. So, overpopulation and underpopulation each creates its own unique set of problems. There's no such thing as an ideal population size. It all depends on a country's resources, infrastructure and policies. These facts paint a complex picture, don't they? Let's summarize what we've learned. So. We've explored the challenges of both overpopulation and underpopulation, but which is worse? Well, overpopulation strains resources and impacts the environment, while underpopulation can stifle economic growth and societal progression. Each scenario presents its own unique set of challenges, and it's not about determining which is worse. It's about how we adapt, innovate, and respond to these challenges. Remember, every challenge presents an opportunity for creative solutions. Subscribe to Kids Math TV for more thought-provoking discussions.